Carson. Welcome to Sports Center. On this episode, we're gonna be doing something that we have never done before. Going to therapy. And I guess the reason why you're here, we're gonna make some Lucio cupcakes. I figured since the Summer Games event finally came out, and since everybody's only sport that they know is of course Lucio Ball, we will do a Lucio inspired dish where we are making is Brig, 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 Brig. I think Brigida had the recipe named after the Brigida Buisosa. People that speak Portuguese, just let me slide this one time, please. The Lucio cupcakes are actually extremely easy to make. You only need a couple of things. The butter for starters. <laughs> Cocoa powder, specifically processed by the Dutch. Condensed cow titty juice. A pinch of salt. I got it in my eye. Oh my god. Shredded coconut, and last but not least, sprinkles. S sprinkles. S sprinkles. Spr sprinkles. And that's, that's, that's literally it. Like this, how is this gonna make a cupcake? Oh no, just get a bowl! So like I said before, making these Lucio cupcakes are really easy. First, you just gotta lightly butter your mixing bowl. Oh, so sensual. Just take it nice, easy. I'm sorry. Next it says in a white nonstick fry. Why did we butter a mixing bowl if we gotta get a frying pan? Lucio, do you want a bowl or a frying pan? Wait, we're gonna combine the ingredients in the fry pan? What, what's this for then? I, I, what? Um, okay then. Oh, oh my, oh, that's really strong. Get three tablespoons of cocoa in the frying pan? What? Why wouldn't we use a mixing bowl? All right, there's two. Still questioning my life choices, not only with cooking, but with living! This just feels illegal. Why am I mixing it in a frying pan? Then let's crack one open with the cows with the condensed milk. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not milk. That's straight up sea <laughs> The recipe calls for 14 ounces, which is literally this whole thing. Uh, not only does this feel wrong because, again, I'm not using a bowl, but this just looks like straight up cup. Then we need one tablespoon of butter, but the only problem is I don't think it asked for it to be melted, which is a problem. Is this just supposed to stay lumped in there? Like, I'm still confused how this is supposed to end up like this. Oh yeah, can't forget the last secret ingredient, a whole pinch of salt. You happy? You happy? I don't know why I'm mad, it's because this is so awkward. Then it calls to place the pan on medium heat. That good enough for you, Lucio? Turn this to medium and low heat. Is that three? Is that four? Is that one? What's medium low heat? Oh, wait a minute. Was I supposed to be doing this while the heat was on? Lucio, why are you so bad with instructions? Whatever, let's just start mixing even though the heat is not- There's a fly in front of me. I, I hate this recipe so much. Oh, bro, you at? You just gotta wait for it to melt and then it'll look good You're being such a baby. You no, know, I joke about burning the house down, but at least by doing this before the heat's even on, I can't burn down the whole entire house. Maybe just the kitchen. It also said to gently stir in the ingredients. See, this is what I hate about kitchen adjectives. What does gently entail? You know, I had a couple of ex-girlfriends that gently broke my heart, which still ended up equaling me crying. So I can only mean that this is what gentle looks like. I still don't know exactly what we're making, but it's just looking like really thick pudding. So it says once the mixture has thickened considerably, we have to add the rest of the ingredients. There's just one problem. There is no other ingredients. This is all. I have like what, what am I supposed to mix in the toppings that's the whole point of their name toppings not in ings like in the mixture <laughs> it smells like it's burning all right so I think that's my time to stop it says to stop when the mixture is thick and it can slide around considerably well I mean this is sliding is it considerably I don't know but I know one thing's for sure I'm an expert in thickness and like She's she's kind of thick. Remember that bowl that Lucio forced us to butter? Well, I finally figured out the use to pour our mixture in. So we literally just let it pour. Oh yeah. Oh, that's not that's some that's some good stuff. I ain't gonna front. Look at that pour. Oh, that's nice. We need a rubber scraper so we can get all this chocolatey goodness out of here. Oh yeah, that's nice. We got every last drop, with the exception of that drop, and that drop. And maybe that drop. So you know how the instructions are a little bit BS? Well, guess what the next instruction entails? We have to transfer into the bowl, done. But then it says that we gotta let it cool for at least an hour. 
Although two would be preferred. <laughs> well, what is it? Is it one or is it two? Like, what's gonna happen if I only do it for one hour? Is the world gonna combust? Is Lucio Ball gonna be canceled? And if I let it sit for two hours, what's gonna happen? Is it gonna end world hunger? Are we finally gonna get peace in the world? Is Fran gonna finally notice me? Well, I can let you know one thing. The last thing is it happening, so let's let it cool for two hours, okay? But just to be sure that I do this right, I'm gonna make a second mixture and let it chill for one hour in the refrigerator. And there we have it, boys and girls. We got a little bit on the side, but that's all right. Sometimes you get a little bit of drizzle on the side of your mouth, and you just kind of lick it off. And get your poorly kept together plastic wrap. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit, but oh, it seems like every single plastic wrap for me fit, mainly because I'm so tiny. Let's chill this in the fridge. One hour later. Well, it's been one hour. Now you might say to yourself, where are you at? That's not long enough. <laughs> Your mom said the same thing. But I ain't got time to wait two hours. I mean, I do. I got nothing else going on tonight, but I want to do it now. So now the next step is that we're going to have to roll out some of these balls into toppings, which is what your mom did to my and one of the toppings are crushed nuts, which I mean, it's not Pride Month anymore. If I wanted to crush nuts, I would do it in the month of June. So that's where these three toppings come into play. This thing costs $5, man, so it better taste bussin'. We also got cute little cupcake liner things. Now, I had to look up what these things were because, like, you don't ever have to Google these things. They just show up randomly. Here we have a nice little arrangement of all the toppings, and now we're gonna just dig right in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's very, uh, very slimy. How the heck am I supposed to like get top? I'm supposed to roll these into balls, but um, I'm I'm, I'm kind of having some trouble here. It's not hard enough. P pause. But like, it's not. It's it's too slimy. One tablespoon of unsalted butter. Three tablespoons of cocoa powder. Fourteen ounces. Of yeah. What the heck? I I literally have three four ingredients to mix. How did I mess this up? Uh, so, I'm, I'm gonna make an executive decision and um, let it show for another hour. Two hours later. All right, so it's been two hours. And if this doesn't work out, well, just like my past relationships, it just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> so going into the fridge one, uh, like, uh, well, I mean, may maybe. I mean, we, we got something here. Never mind, I forget, it's chocolate and I have really hot hands. So we just got it like, uh, uh, top it like that and then get it uh, how the fudge oh oh no oh, no this just uh this was not meant to be we could scoop these out put it in the cupcake liner and then sprinkle on some toppings what if we did the one that just sat out see I waited two hours for this one just to sit outside let's see how this one does this one's even worse oh no no, oh no, what am I, oh no. Okay, well, I mean, I got, I got something here, so we could just scoop them all in. We're just gonna sprinkle on the sprinkles that you can't even really see, because I just realized we're sprinkling on chocolate sprinkles on the chocolate pudding cupcake things. It's all right, that still looks, it still looks really cute. Get some of the rainbows on there. Nice, that's looking very colorful, very nice. And of course, some coconut, why not? These actually look nice, if only they were hard. Pause. Ladies and gentlemen, here are our Lucio cupcakes that I don't, I, these aren't even cupcakes. This is just brown slop, but we actually have a special day to celebrate today. No, no, stay on. You better stay. Oh God. Oh God. This is not going to be good. Oh God. The cupcake's falling. We got to qu quickly do this. Oh God dang it. The fire blew out. Ow. Ah, the wax. Ah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear pancakes. Happy birthday to you. She doesn't even want it. Good thing because she can't even eat this because it's chocolate. It's dripping. Oh God. It is Pancake's second birthday and I thought, well, she could celebrate with us, but turns out she doesn't want to and I don't blame her. I always try to taste test these, but it seems like I can't even eat these. I just have to like take like a jello shot. So. Down the hatch it goes. Oh. Would you be surprised if I told you it's actually pretty good? <laughs> it's just really sweet chocolate liquid stuff. Uh, hey, that was pretty good, huh? It's just, it's just cocoa. I feel clip baited. Like I was meant to make some freaking. I don't know what I did wrong. 
wrong. Like, I don't know how I can mess up a cupcake recipe that literally only has four ingredients and what, three steps? Like, I'm, I'm disappointed, bro. This happened last time with the, the cheese cookies or whatever I made last time. Like, it didn't even form into a ball. It just formed into a flat thing. And same here. Just like my hopes and dreams, it fell flat. Well, anyway, guys, I have a huge mess to clean up. I better not see anybody telling me what I did right because I just did it. But anyway, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More Overwatch videos to come. And bye, Happy Lucio Ball. Bye. There is chocolate everywhere. <laughs>